Hey guys, so today I have um, a collab. This is going to be the Year Away collab, and this was created by Claire. Um, um, of course, her link will be down below, and we all know Claire. Um, and as you know, with these collabs, I don't swatch, but it's already polished that I've worn, so I do have the swatch ring. So I'll talk a little bit about the formula. I'll talk a little bit about the polish itself. I'll try to describe the color the best I can. Um, but a little bit about this collab. This collab was, again, created by Claire Gray. And she's here on YouTube and Instagram. We all know and love her. Um, if you come to me from her channel, let me know down in the comments. I'm always, uh, I always enjoy comments. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. I hope you enjoy. Um, some of my older videos are a little bit sketchy, but, um, I think they're getting better, even though I have less time. Um, if not, well, they are scheduled out to October already from whenever I did them so they could still be a little sketchy but we're working on it so I have this broken up into mainstream and indies right now though I'm going to talk about oh and basically this collab is if we had to spend a year away from our home and our nail polish collection what polishes would we take um she did allow base and top coat and of course some accessories so my base coat is going to be Sesh Vite or Sesh Vive because I do like the both of those. Um, of course, my base coat is going to be the Yellow Stopper because I use that as my peel off. And I, then the, I would take some stamping accessories because I like to stamp and hopefully if I'm a year away, I'm going to have a break and be able to do my nails. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to start with the one and only China Glaze that I chose. And of course I chose this. This is One Polished Pony from the My Little Pony collection. Beautiful minty blue-green. And that silver shimmer you're seeing when you're putting it on the nail. And when it shines in the sun, it's almost iridescent. This is a beautiful polish, if I do say so myself. Not that it's named after me or anything, but it really should be. Um, then again, if China Glaze knew me at all, they would have made it blue somehow. Or bluer. But there it is on the brush. This had a very good formula. This was almost opaque in one coat for me. Um, here it is. I think my swatch ring is going to have a little haze on it. Because I think it was humid that day. And what's on my nails is actually coming up. So. so there it is on the swatch ring. I usually do two coats on the swatch ring. So that's two coats. Beautiful. This is just absolutely beautiful color. And even if it wasn't named One Polished Pony, it's still a beautiful color. Next up, I've ranted and raved about this forever. This is A Sinful Shine. And it's too cool for pool. I actually have two backups of this. Because it's so beautiful. And I actually should really pop it out and wear it. When the little one in the background gives me time. And there it is on the brush with those beautiful pink shimmers. It's like um, a periwinkle blue. With pink shimmers. And I am a sucker for those pink shimmers. Especially in blue. Good formula. Opaque in two coats. And there it is on the nail. This has no top coat on it. So yeah. I mean that pink shimmer is pretty apparent. Okay. So that was Sinful Shines. Too cool for pool. Next is another Simple Colors, and this one is called Maroon Fine. I didn't think I'd like this, but I adore it. Good formula. This could be opaque in one coat. I think I found this at Big Lots. This was just, I stumbled upon it. And I'm like, hmm, this looks pretty. Let's try it. And when I finally wore, every time I looked at it, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this. I'm not going to like this. 
but I put it on and I loved it. And I'm not a red person. And <laughs> you can hear the little baby in the background. And there it is. And I don't know, they look like they're pink shimmers, but they also look like red shimmer and gold shimmer. I don't know what it is. Or if it's a combination, but it's beautiful. There it is on the swatch wheel. I think I top coated this. Or on the ring, actually. I don't have any more swatch wheels. I just made an order. So, Lord knows how long that'll take to come from China. I also ordered black ones, too. Not wheels, though. They only come in the pops, so. Sticks, whatever you want to call them. But here is Maroon Fine on the wheel. On the nail. <laughs> Very pretty. And I did try to get a lot of different color variations here. Um, you know, because if you're going to be gone for a year, you want to have a variation of color. But I don't think I varied too well. <laughs> Next one up, and I've talked about this one. This is Coast to Coast by Wet n Wild Mega Last. And it's a beautiful blue with a beautiful shimmer. I wish I got a backup of this one. There it is on the brush. That shimmer is just gorgeous. And I cannot describe the color of this blue, but it's like a blue I don't have. I don't think. It kind of reminds me of um, Zoya's Tallulah a little bit, but I don't know. I think the shimmer is more pronounced in this. Here it is on the ring. And you can see that shimmer. Very pretty. Has a very nice formula. Two coats. Okay, next up is another Wet n Wild Mega Lass. I've not talked about this, but I, I love the way this looked on my nails. And this is Kiss My Mints. And this is a very pale mint green. It's a real nice formula. Opaque in two coats. I mean, I don't necessarily know why we're away for a year, but I hope it's to like a deserted island. And here it is on the ring. Very pretty, very creamy. I'm not usually a standard standalone cream person, but I paired this when I wore it, I believe, with... Oh, it was that OPI with the pink glitter. All pink to that, I think it was called. And I, I thought it looked so pretty. But there is Kiss My Mint. Okay, now we're getting into the indies. And this is going to be what I'm wearing on my nails. And this was sent to me. Or I should say smuggled to me by Claire. And she bought this for me because its name is Pony Whispers. And it's from Graceful Nail Polish. <laughs> I love that little pony. And this is a color that's hard to describe. Obviously, it's a holographic, linear hollow. But it it's almost like a... It looks like it has a... It's very dimensional. It kind of looks like it has a blue shimmer in it also. But the base is like a lilac-y color. Lilac, the one with purple in it. And there it is on the brush. And you can see it does have a lot of dimension there as it kind of blurs out. Two coats. And you don't need to see this because it's on my nails and you're going to be seeing it throughout the video. But that is Graceful Nail Polish in Pony Whispers. And hang on one second. Okay, she was starting to get just a little too restless. We'll see how long that that works. This next one I recently wore. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen it. Oh, and this was a lemming. I think I paid 30 some dollars for it. Maybe more. Not sure. But this is hair polish in electric flame. 
and this did need three to four coats to be opaque but the payoff was worth it in my opinion <clears throat> it just glowed off the nail with there's a pink shimmer in there and then there looks like there's blue to green um, iridescent glitters <laughs> It is just beautiful. There it is on the nail, and you can see it's just glowing from within. This, I believe, is this is either two or three coats. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Just beautiful. So that one definitely has to come with me. I'm gonna take that one to the grave. Next one that I have a single one of, this is Space X, and this is a beautiful fall color. It's copper. It's got like a pink shimmer that's not really coming up on camera, and it is a scattered hollow. This was given to me by Stacy Polished Ways when we were really good friends, and there it is on the brush. Very pretty. There it is on the nail. It's very blingy. It's a great fall color. Okay, okay now we have, no, I have singles here. Okay, so let's go with this one. This one here is from Night Owl Lacquer. And this is called Unicorn Love. And it's a purple jelly with larger holographic flex. Of course, it's a jelly, so it, it does need a couple coats to build up, I believe, too. But those are all different size, or all different shaped, um, like flex shards. I think there might be a couple hexes in there throughout, but this is two coats on the wheel. On the nail, I keep saying wheel. Sorry, guys. Very pretty. I'm just getting like mesmerized by looking at that. <laughs> so there's that. That was Unicorn Love by Night Owl. This next one I did wear pretty recent also. This is Waxing Poetic by Vapid. And this is kind of like, um, it almost looks olive green, but I think that's because of the shimmer in there. It kind of shifts from copper to pink. You're only really seeing it as pink right now. Um, let's see right at the bottom here. You can kind of see a flash of copper. And then right there you can see copper. So it's very pretty. has a very nice formula. It was opaque in two coats. Shimmer is very pronounced. If you cannot get your hands on this, um, you can try. I say try because where is it and I can't find it mm -hmm. where'd it go this one here and I'm not adding this one I'm just comparing it Claire so we're not allowed to go over 12 but if you cannot find waxing poetic by vapid you can try and get moon lagoon from enchanted they're not identical dupes but they are close. They're very close. The base color is very close. The shimmer is very close, except Enchanted's, I believe, goes from pink to copper a little bit better. So here it is on the wait, on the <laughs> on the nail. And you can see that shimmer is very pronounced. And I think I have top coat on this. Very pretty. 
It's a pretty nice fall color also. So that was Waxing Poetic from Vapid. And speaking of Enchanted, I have two Enchanteds to finish this out. First one is Opalescent Rainbow because you need a topper. And this is a beautiful one. It has opalescent glitters in there. And a, and a hollow in there. So you get the best of both worlds. And it will look good over any color. And there it is on the brush. Very pretty. These opalescent glitters seem to be all the rage right now. And here it is on the nail. Not like it mattered because you can't really see anything, but um, you can still tell that there are glitters on there and they just go from pink to blue to gold. So very pretty on that one. And lastly, this one I, I lemminged for. This is La La Land. And if you know me and you've watched my channel, you know anything, any polish that has the word La La in is very close to my heart. So this is kind of like, I want to say it's almost teal in color. It's not blue, but it seems to be teal. And it's a, it's a, a linear hollow. Looks like it has like a blue flash in there too. <laughs> Good formula, almost opaque in one. And there it is on the brush. And here it is on the nail. Yeah, that's kind of like a teal color. <laughs> Very pretty. So, yeah, guys, these are the 12 polishes that I've recently worn, well, that I've worn. I won't do a video like this unless it's a polish that I've worn. Um, especially when I don't have any swatch wheels. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is it for my 12 that I would take away with me if I was going away for a year. I hope you all enjoyed. Let's take a look at Pony Whispers again. Um, again, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I basically do some collabs and every now and then I'll throw in a haul um, and collection. I have collection videos out the wazoo. So if you like to watch polish being swatched and talking about polish, um, then that's great. This is the place for you. I've wanted to start a live one where I can actually do questions and answers in the chat, but I started a new job and I don't know that I'm going to have time to do that. So I do apologize for that. Um, I'm not really sure I'm going to have any new content other than swatch videos, um, collection videos. And again, I am scheduled out right now until October. I am going to do more once I get my new swatch wheels in the mail. Um, so yeah, so that is it for me for now. Everybody else's channel is going to be linked down below as well. I hope you go by and, um, take a look at their 12 that they would take away with them for a year. And thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.